Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can play uh, the Daisy Armor 2 mod um, single player on your local PC without having to install a local server as well. Now, funnily enough, if you want to play Daisy the Armor 2 mod, um, you don't actually use the Daisy Armor 2 mod that you download from Steam. But what you will need is to download, well, to buy and have installed Armor 2 um, and Armor 2 Operation uh, Arrowhead as well and then when you're installing Operation Arrowhead I think it says one of the things it says is install the army of the Czech Republic so you, you want to get those all installed and you want to fire up Armour 2 so it gets to this you know the screen where you can choose to do a mission then you want to come out of it and you want to fire up Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead and make sure 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 that works as well then and I'm going to put links to all of this down in the down in the video down below then there's there's two videos you can want to watch um, both by a guy called Coda Bear or Coda Bar, um, and he has two mods um, that enable you to play single player DayZ uh, on your local single player DayZ Armor 2 mod on your local PC. The first one's called At DayZ, uh, as in the flower, almost DayZ, but with a Z, and the other one is called DayZ X. Now, at Daisy uh, is just just gets Daisy working um, with you versus the zombies and obviously versus Chernerus and trying to survive. Um, whereas Daisy X um, introduces AI elements as well, so there's AI bandits and things running around. Um, so what you want to do is, is watch the video, inst uh, download the files, and watch the videos. However, I had. Um, a little bit of trouble trying to get it to work so I want to show you so if you if you if you can't get it working by all means read all the um, comments down below and people say oh, I couldn't get it to work and he tells them how to solve it um, especially in the Daisy X um, descriptions that there's lots of stuff to ha how to solve it but the way that I found to get it to work which seemed to work very well is when you download the files from him um, here we go onto your local computer you'll end up with, uh, put, put them in two folders, so you'll get like a um, a Daisy um, uh, folder, a Daisy um, zip file you download, so extract that, and you'll get an at Daisy folder, which is, you know, like we, we know this from, from modern Daisy, don't we? And we get the missions folder. And what you wanna do is you wanna copy that, um, so you'll be right click, click copy, and then you want to take that over to your Operation Arrowhead um, folder, wherever that might be on your computer. It's, tend to, it's called Armour 2 space Operation Arrowhead. And you just want to paste that in. Um, and then what you want to do is there's a missions folder as well. Just see if you've got a missions folder already. Um, in other words, one that's called um, missions. And if there is, um, just copy the the the, the Chernerus, uh, the Daisy underscore v o four two dot c Chernerus PBO. Um, just copy that. If there isn't a missions folder, copy the whole thing. So copy the whole missions folder. So you'd want to right click, copy, um, and then you want to take that over to your Operation Arrowhead missions folder, and you want to paste it in. Um, obviously, if you haven't got a missions folder, then do the whole thing. And then what you want to do as well is with the um, Daisy X um, zipped file that you'll download, you get the same thing. So copy the at Daisy X folder um, and then paste that into your Armour 2 uh, Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. So that'll appear again. That, that's the that's the add-on there. That's the mod. And then what you want to do is you want to go into the missions and you want to copy those two, Daisy X Chernerus PBO and Daisy X No AI Chernerus PBO. So copy those and then paste them into the missions folder in your Operation Arrowhead um, uh, missions folder. So they'll be there. As you can see, they're all there for me. And then what you want to do is you want to fire up Operation Arrowhead. Um, there's that install the army of the Czech Republic DLC. Make sure you've installed that as well. It keeps asking you whether you want to do it or not. And this will then fire up Operation Arrowhead. Um, and what you can do is within Armour 2, 
we can then enable the mods um, and then restart the game um, and this seems to avoid all of the errors that you get if you try and start it with a shortcut. You'll say you'll see in his videos that he says start it with a short shortcut using this mod. But I I was having all sorts of trouble trying to do that, and it just and it, it kept crashing um, and it wouldn't work. So Armor Two will will fire up now. If you've previously fired up um, DayZ mod. Uh, the dedicated DayZ mod that you download from Steam. We're going to have to disable that as well, and then then restart it. But I'll show you how to do how to do that next, and then I'll show you how to get into um, DayZ with it, as in the flower and uh, DayZ X as well. So it takes a while to fire up. So depending on what what you've what you run before, that this screen could be different. Um, but if it's the DayZ mod. What you, what you want to do is you want to go into the, um, here, see what it says expansion. See down the bottom, well, it might not be at the bottom, but it will say Armor 2 DayZ mod. And you want to select it, and you'll have a thing that says disable, and you want to disable the Armor 2 DayZ mod. And you'll see, okay, say OK, and it will restart, and it will say restart, so it restarts Armor 2. And then what, what you want to do is you make, make sure that Day at DayZ. Uh, with the Y at the end, D A I Z Y, and at Daisy X are both um, uh, enabled, and it will tell you to restart it. And then you restart it. Um, so we're just going to say cancel because I've already done that. And then what you do is you go into single player, and because what happens? Sorry, what happens is if you've got Daisy mod enabled, you won't see the single player option, and you'll see you know you've got the campaign, so you've got all the um, the armor 2 stuff here and the operation arrowhead stuff but if you go into scenarios you've then got daisy 042 churners and daisy x and daisy x with no ai so if now if we just click on daisy x da sorry daisy 042 churners and click play it's going to kick us into single player um And there we go. What amazed me was how unbelievably beautiful this game looks for a mod that came out so long ago. Now the controls are different to uh, ordinary Daisy, uh, well Daisy standalone I guess we'd refer it to. Um, it's very armor-like, so there's lots and lots of different controls. I think there's no, yeah, I don't think you can punch either. I think you've got a, a melee weapon before you can take on zombies. Um, but there you go. But you're playing Daisy single player on your own local PC so you don't have the problem of having to um, find a server that maybe has got um, massive ping um, and uh, you know re requires you to install all these other mods as well you can actually play Daisy mod uh, and enjoy it yourself and as I say there's um, there's Daisy X to explore which has the, those AI in it and there's uh, Daisy D A I Z Y which seems to you know be more of a vanilla daisy as well. Right, so there we go. Thank you very much to Coda Bar for uh, for doing those uh, mods and hanging on to those mods so that we can still kind of go back in time and experience Daisy mod um, on our own computers in our own time um, for a bit of Daisy history. Anyway, that's enough for me. Hopefully, you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.